Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I want to keep it short and to the point. Please 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 be careful with the narcissist you are dealing with. As the narcissist discard. Might not be them just walking out on you and your life. Or them just ghosting you. The narcissist discard could have dire life and deletion consequences. In my last video. We talked about the narcissist mother. And the reason why we had to do so. Is we still live in a world where no matter how many evil sick crimes narcissist women commit against their own family and society as a whole. And yes. There are great women. Many of them are in the comment section of this channel. But no matter the crimes that narcissist women commit against their own families. We still live in a world where men are seen as the evil doers in everything. When in reality. Both men and women though different in a great many ways. Share at least one common trait. And that's their capacity for evil. And to be more specific. Their capacity for evil against their own child. You see. A Compton, California so-called father. Was arrested for child abuse and the deletion of his nine-year-old son that has autism. Just like the so-called mother in my last video. This so-called father allegedly pulled out his weapon that goes pew pew and allegedly deleted his nine-year-old son. And if this is true, if he really did such an evil act, I will bet it was done because he just couldn't take being a father. And furthermore he just couldn't take being a father to a child with special needs and autism. Now I don't know much about the mother, except what was mentioned by others in the news clip which I will put in the box below. But it was said she was going to school. So forth and so on. And that she was a loving mother. But at the same time. They said it oftentimes looked like this child would go without taking a shower or bath. And that he was going through something. Now for what I can gather from the news clip. He only. Spent weekends with the father. So my question is. Why did this young child have this appearance if he only spent weekends with the father? Now let's for the sake of argument give the mother of this wonderful child the benefit of the doubt. Let's say she was a good mother. Why send this young boy to be with his father on the weekends? Look. Though I don't agree with how child custody works in the West. It works overwhelmingly in the favor of the mother almost 99% of the time. So when an abusive father. Not always. Not always. But most of the time. When an abusive father still has access to his children. It's either for one of two reasons. The mother still has hope for the father and wants the father to be around his children. Or. Or. The second reason would be. She's just as bad as the father. And wants to dump her child off with whoever she can. Even the father that is abusive. So she can do whatever it is she likes to do on the weekend. And you have to understand something. When you are dealing with. Two bad parents. One will use the other to do their dirty work for them. No. No. They probably aren't plotting or scheming. They just know how they are. And they know if they leave their child with that person or so called parent. That it's a matter of time before something bad happens. Now, I'm not saying this is what happened to this young innocent child. Maybe the mother was a great mother. And she had no idea of what was going to happen by dropping off her son with the father. Maybe. But either way. I believe the father. The so-called father couldn't take the fact that his son required too much work and attention and so he discarded him. No. He didn't walk out of his life. Which would have been a heck of a lot better for all involved. He did what the so-called mother in my last video did. He ended the life of his child. Allegedly. Allegedly. And those that knew this child said for a while now it looked like he was going through something. I would say so. You see. This is why narcissistic abuse and learning. About evil people is so important. And why and how you can tell society doesn't want you to learn about such things. Because once you learn about such things. 
and once people demand a change, the narcissist puppet masters will not only lose billions of dollars on their failed systems, but they will lose control over those they control in society. They don't look at the fact that learning about what makes evil tick might lead to young children like this living and leading full and wonderful lives. My prayers go out to those that loved and cared for this young child. May God carry him home and hold him tight. With that said, I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.